Kim here with Little Biz Resources, and today let's look at how to fix the Pinterest Verified Merchant Program error. Merchant does not meet minimum website quality requirements. Say that 10 times fast. So this has got to be the most vague error that I've seen from Pinterest. And so when you get this, you kind of freak out and go, what? I've been through it. I don't understand what's going on. Now, if that's true, I suspect you missed something because if you've gone through it, then you've identified all the potential issues. But let's take a quick look here and see if we can't narrow some of this down. So almost every time if you contact support or if you go into the the community forums for Pinterest, there's somebody in there and I don't know if she's part of Pinterest or if she's just somebody trying to help, but it they link you back to the guidelines. And the problem with that is, is it's not helpful, right? So a lot of the errors that come up on the Verify Merchant Program are actually related more to um, specific things. So for example, if you don't have an about page on your website or there's an issue with the about page on the website, it's going to tell you that. So if you come in here and you look at the requirements, and by the way, if you're confused about this or you've never done this or you're like, hey, I want to learn more about it, I am doing an e-guide. If that's something you're interested in, just subscribe to the channel and you'll get notified when I release that information. I also have a playlist for multiple errors. So if you have different errors in here, then you can, oh, here we go, measuring guidelines, then you can um, go through those and see if you can fix them all. Now, of course, a lot of times you're going to have weird errors that you're like, wait, that doesn't make any sense. And in each of those, I talk about some potential problems with it. So in this case, I'll tell you, I've worked with several people who have had this error and almost every single one of them had multiple other errors as well right? This wasn't the only error they had, but if it is the only error you have, here's how we're going to narrow this down. So of course we have our general merchant guidelines. Typically you shouldn't have a problem. One thing that one of the community people said is if you have a marketplace, then it would flag. Well, Etsy's a marketplace and they're, they're verified on here. So I don't know. And it says consignment marketplaces, which would be Etsy, but Etsy's allowed on there. So I don't know for sure if marketplaces would be an issue or not. And honestly, it shouldn't be. But if you operate it with a multi-store or um, some sort of marketplace style, that could be an issue. And you will never know because they're, the Pinterest support, they don't know, right? So let's look at this. So first of all, we've got the journal merchant requirements. And then we've got a bunch down here. Now, in my e-guide, I walk through each of these. And this is where it says can't be resale or consignment marketplaces. So if you're like, hey, I'm not an affiliate marketer, which you're not an e-commerce store if you're an affiliate marketer. I don't know why that has to be like this, but some people do put that little shop now button and they try to trick it. it cannot be wholesale retailers. So if you cannot see, if they cannot see the product, the product price, and people can't like look at the whole product page and everything, so they need a password or something else, that's going to be an issue. Um, if you, if you have a shipping policy, that's not going to, this is not the error you're going to get. If you don't have a shipping policy, you'll get a separate error. So we know that's not the reason. And then it says the merchant must have easy to find the same thing you'll get. If you don't have a return policy, they'll give you a separate error for that. D about us page, they'll give you a separate error about it. So we've already narrowed down. We've already eliminated several things on here that it probably isn't for this error, right? Now, this is where I suspect most people fall into Merchants must have a high quality website and product pages. We don't allow websites that have, and they go through all of these, right? So we see improper grammar, excessive or glaring spelling or typos. If you have missing product descriptions, that's probably why too. Uh, there's actually a different error for product descriptions, and I can't remember what it is. It's, oh, it's merchants product description and categories do not meet requirements. So we know it's actually not that either. So this really does narrow down to right here where we see, there's actually a couple of ones it could be as well. Improper grammar, fuzzy or grainy images. Almost everybody I've worked with that had this error had stock images. Okay, so if Pinterest detects that your images, all of your images are identical to another site or the majority of your images are identical to another site or possibly some of your images are identical to another site, then they could, they could, they, that could flag it. 
So if you have stock images, you're going to have to make some changes to that. And we'll do another video on and show some tips on how to use um, the free version of Canva to alter that. Fuzzy or grainy images. And this should be obvious. If you have stock images or you have fuzzy or grainy images, boom, that's probably your problem. And you're going to have to figure out a way around that. I do not know for sure that we can find a way around stock images. I don't use stock images. I can't test that. But what I do know is that a lot of companies offer stock images and require to use them. So there's got to be some sort of way around that. Um, now let's see, broken links are incomplete pages. So if you have a, a, a poor experience, which I think there's actually a different error for that one too. But anyway, so have unoriginal content, including unoriginal content within the about us section or product descriptions. I still think they're going to have, they're going to flag the about us page. So I don't think that's going to be it. Stock images. So they've mentioned the, so the stock images are specifically mentioned on here as a potential issue. And that is so far, that's all I've run into is people who, who have this have stock images. So that seems to be the error that relates to that, but it may not be right. So if you're like, Hey, I don't have stock images. All my images are original. Then check the other things. This is not correct. It needs to be, um, 13 months for your domain age. Now, and then force users to visit another page that's not original to the brand. If you're forcing them to another page, I don't know why you're not going to sell your e-commerce products then. Force users to register to view products are unsafe or deceptive, which your products, you go through the product requirements, have multiple ads or pop-ups. So if you're getting this error and you have pop-ups on your site, just remove them. Have pop-ups you cannot close. Again, if you have pop-ups on your site and this is the error you're getting, remove them. Have out-of-date content or out-of-stop products. So actually that is the number two reason I've seen this one come up. So number one was stock images. Number two, out of stock products. Okay. Those are the two things that I have seen repeatedly as issues for this particular error that merchant does not meet minimum website quality requirements. That is the specific error that they received. And when they fixed one of those two things that fixed it. So, um, WordPress is really easy. I'll go ahead and show you in WordPress real quick in just a minute, how to, just put the settings so that out of stock does not show. Shopify is a little bit more complicated, but I'll put the link in the description if you have Shopify so you can you can make those changes if you need to so that your out of stock products are no longer visible once they're out of stock. But both of them are set so that once they go back in stock, they're visible again. It's all automatic once you've set that up. Okay, so let's hop into WordPress real quick. I'll show you how to do that. I shut the camera off for this one so you could see the page fully. So I kind of skipped around here to make it faster, but if you go into WooCommerce and then you'll have a bunch of selections here. And if you're in settings, then you'll, these are the settings and go to products, right? So we're under, so WooCommerce settings, then you go to the products tab. So you have general products, shipping, et cetera, click select products. Then you'll see right under that tab, there's these like headers here. So general inventory, et cetera, make sure you're on inventory. And then if you scroll down, it will say hide out of stock items from the catalog right here. Okay. And of course you can change other settings if you want here, but that's the one you want out of stock visibility. You want to check that. And then you want to say save changes. Okay. So that's how in WooCommerce you set the store to hide out of stock items. That might be all you need to do to fix that error. If you don't have stock images and they're not fuzzy, but you do have out of stock items, hide the out of stock items that'll most likely fix the problem. And if not, let me know. Um, I'm still expanding on these. So I'd love to see if I can get most of these answered for everybody. So just let me know in the comments. And again, if I mentioned this earlier, but if you are stuck, if you have issues, if you need help, if you're just interested and you're learning more about the Pinterest verified merchant program, then stay tuned for my e-guide that's coming out. I'm also going to have a checklist and of course, as many videos as I can to help answer that. So stay tuned for more videos if you have additional errors and then check the playlist that I've linked in the description so you can see what are the errors to fix. And thanks for watching.